good morning, you guys. I just made my son his breakfast thing. I'm like, oh yeah, I should do that online so people can see it. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the um, breakfast sandwich maker this morning. It's getting colder and I move a little bit slower when it's colder, so it's really easy for me to just wanna run through the drive-through. But instead, with our breakfast sandwich maker, you can make those Starbucks sandwiches and those McDonald's wraps yourself at home in less than two minutes. And I'm gonna show you how. So our breakfast sandwich maker, I actually have it in our cozy to uh, because the ceramic gets pretty hot in the microwave. And with these, you can actually stick them in the microwave for up to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it in there because then I can pull it out and hang on to it without burning my fingers. So in the bottom, there's a cute little graphic that reminds you when you put your egg in to break the yolk. But for right now, I've just got a little pat of butter I'm gonna put in there um, just to oil the sides. I just think it makes it easier to get out if you don't put butter. This is the way I always made eggs. So with butter, milk, salt, pepper, all the goodies. So I just took what I've always done and put it in the sandwich maker. So I just melted my butter and I'm gonna roll it around the side and then I'm gonna put my egg in. Who out there goes through the drive-thru? Who are my uh, drive-thru kings and queens? I work from home. So typically I don't, but when I'm out early, I do like, my favorite is the McDonald's wrap, the breakfast wraps, the sausage. So I can kind of do these here when I have the right ingredients. But this morning I'm just doing a ham and cheese wrap. So I've got my egg in here with some salt, pepper, and I like a little splash of milk. My husband and I argue over whether milk or water I do milk, it's my sandwich, so I can do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna scramble that up for a second. And then, and so there's different parts to this. This layer, the one um, that has the solid bottom, you can put your pre-cooked meats in here. So we're not gonna be cooking this egg long enough to cook your meat. So if you have pre-cooked sausage or bacon, I've just got some sandwich ham, you can do deli ham, whatever you want. Um, you can do spinach in here, onions, peppers, jalapenos. Make it your own. Whatever kind that you normally like in an omelet or um, on your sandwich. I always throw that in here. Then the next layer is going to be for your bread. So if you're doing a biscuit, a muffin, a bagel, a pancake even, I'm going to do a tortilla wrap. So I'm just gonna put the lid on here, I'm gonna put it all together, and I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. And I usually put it off center, just to keep it from spinning in the same circle for a minute. And cook it only one part. So um, the breakfast sandwich maker, you can get it for one uh, for uh, $29.50. Um, it just came out recently, so it's still pretty popular. Um, my husband actually has one at work and we have one here. So I'll tell you one of the perfect things to clean it with are these little guys. If you ever have a piece of stoneware, you get one of these little plastic scrapers with it. Those things are the bomb in those. The, I don't know how they do it, but when they make their Pampered Chef products, the curve of the spatula fits the bowl. The curve of that brown scraper fits the curve of the the breakfast sandwich maker, the um, egg cooker, it just works. So I'm just gonna, oh yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna take the wrap and fold it into, of course, stick it in there, put the top back on and cook it for 30 more seconds. That's it. So a minute and a half in the microwave, one minute and then 30 seconds. So here, we're gonna assemble the sandwich. So this is all nice and warm and toasty. Here's my hand, it's got a fork. I like this because the solid bottom holds all the juice in there, so it's not um, dripping down into my egg. 
That's just me though. I do like a little bit of bacon grease. Oh, that's a good question. So we had this debate at our um, team meeting last, or a couple months ago. Do you keep your bacon grease? And if so, what do you use it for? I was surprised at how many people throw out their bacon grease. There's so many things. You can put it in almost all of your greens. I like to use it when I'm making, um, what do I like? Green beans. All right, so I'm gonna show you the egg does come out, it's formed, but, so you can actually pull it out and put it straight onto your sandwich. It fits perfectly, like I said, on a bagel or biscuit, but because I'm doing mine in a wrap, I'm gonna scramble it up. And you guys, I always laugh at microwave eggs. I thought, that's gross, they taste bad. They really don't. Not in the ceramic egg cooker. Just be careful, because like I said, that ceramic is hot. And so with just putting a little bit of butter in there, it comes out clean. So I've got my egg. Now I'm gonna put some cheese. You can totally do some Swiss cheese. All I have is some cheddar. But I will share a little tip with you guys. If you don't do it, you need to shred your own cheese. The pre-shredded cheese has cellulose in it, wood chips. So I don't need to be putting any extra chemicals, any extra stuff in my body. So totally shred your own cheese. I like to buy a big block. You'll get more, you pay less. It's creamier, it tastes better. Shred it all of it at one time and then stick it in the freezer. So the difference, um, why they put those the cellulose in it is to keep it from clumping together. So you'll notice that your cheese may um, clump together more easily than the pre-shredded cheese that has that cellulose in there which keeps it broken apart. So anyway, all right, my little wrap is done. I didn't have to go through the McDonald's drive through the uh, Sonic, not Sonic, what am I trying, well yeah, Sonic does breakfast wraps too. Um, Starbucks, that was what I was trying to say. Um, I didn't have to spend money, I didn't have to sit in line. Breakfast is done. You, these are great to do. My 11 year old son likes to take one of these and eat it while he's walking to the bus stop. So if you guys have questions, I'm here to help. 